We joined the Kashrut Fraud Department of the Chief Rabbinate for their activities on the streets of Tel Aviv. The activities are split into two, locating businesses that present themselves as kosher with no certificate, as well as activities with those who present a certificate of, so to say, kashrut, but one that misleads the public. Here we photograph the certificate which is presented by the vendor as a kashrut certificate, but it's certainly not a valid one. This certificate misleads. It pretends to be a certificate of kashrut, but in reality it isn't. The body which gave the certificate is not certified to hand out kashrut certificates, and what it gives is a certificate on a piece of paper that says certificate and confirmation, thus misleading the public. The business owners are aware of what they're doing. This body guides them to act against the law. That's the impression I got from meeting with business owners over the time. This misleading is done on purpose. As we join a surprise checkup in one of the restaurants, we see a few of the kashrut problems as the owner says that he prepares the pasta at home and his refrigerated vegetables don't exactly fit the rabbinate kashrut standards. Here, for example, it says kosher on the door or on the restaurant's flyer, but if there's no certificate, it's against the law. We first of all check to make sure that they're not undergoing a process of becoming kosher, and if not, we give them a warning and we fine them. Most times the business owners' responses are unpleasant. They don't like to be told straight to their face that they're breaking the law, but the purpose is first and foremost to educate them and tell them it's wrong. If they don't listen and obey the law, we have no choice but to find them. It's not done right away, but only as a means of educating. One thing's sure, if there is so much fraud, there must be demand, a growing demand in the public for kosher food.